Hey everybody, we're back with another episode of Big Brother. Yeah, we are. And joining us again today is our guest star and super fan, Ashley. Oh my goddess. I'm not a super fan. You're totally a super fan. Yeah. All right. So everybody knows what this week is, right? It's the big send off. So who's going home? Stick around because we're about to find out. All right, guys, we're discussing episode three and four of Big Brother. And uh, I got to tell you, like the intro, I'm seeing Xavier and he's got his shirt tucked in and no belt on. It's driving me crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah. If you have some belt loops, you got to have a belt. Exactly. Seinfeld pulls Especially it off. Especially if your shirt's off. tucked Jerry in. Jerry Seinfeld you know, I mean, He's like the only one that can pull that off. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's one of the first things we t- were taught in the Marine Corps was to be right. a tire, you yeah, know? Yeah, he didn't get the memo. That's right. You get your shirt tucked in, you wear a belt. He's a lawyer. Come on. He should know these things. Oh, yeah, Exactly. All right, so this episode starts off with, like, real tears. Yeah. We, we got Alyssa crying because she's nominated. Yeah. And then Kylan starts bawling. Yeah. What's and going I, on here? I don't know, man. <laughs> What's I, with I, all the Kylan's tears? pretty emotional. Yeah, I mean, Ky- I didn't see that coming. Yeah, Kylan's definitely an emotional dude. And I, and I noticed he's got the he's got some green fingernail polish, too, going he on. Does, it's kind of weird, man. I was like, what's up with that? Well, you I know? did notice when they were talking to him in that room and he was crying. He was He had the green fingernail polish. But then when he was talking in the diary room about crying, he didn't. Yeah. So I was like... Well, that's obviously yeah, I mean, film later. Yeah. Big yeah, boy didn't seem like, to know what to do. He's like, God, yeah. this guy needs a hug. I'm going to have to come over right, here. Right. <laughs> well, you, well, then you had old, uh, old Darius kind of rubbing on his leg. It's okay, man. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Big D got you, baby. Big D got, got you. It's like, jeez. <laughs> I mean, they've seen this show. They know how it goes. Right. So I don't know, man. What's going on no with No one grown, wants to go yeah. week one. You know, you're on crying. the block re- yeah, week one. Do you need to cry about it? Yeah, I mean, nobody wants to go, period. Everybody wants to win that money, right? So. Maybe, but like, I mean, I guess it's harder week one because you haven't really formed a bond. You don't know who has your back. You, I yeah. mean, you suspect, you think you have someone that has your back. Well, a lot of people definitely thought they knew who had their backs. Right? And then again, in other seasons, people have fallen in love and gotten married based on like week one get together. But you know, whatever. I mean, Kylan really seemed like he was into the show. He was overwhelmed when he first got in there. So I guess that seems kind of expected that he'd be. Yeah, a little he's a super. Fan, he, so yeah, and, he, and, he's a, and he's a general <laughs> nice dude. You know, so it sucks to see somebody like him get thrown on the shopping block in week one. But yeah. hey, that's, that's that's the show, right? So well, he's the bait. Exactly. <laughs> the big fish. The big fish. The catch, the big well, fish. Or, or at least screw up the big fish, which is Kristen, and yeah. send his potential love interest home, right? So. And then we have a, a a potential alliance with the cookout. The cookout crew is getting together. That's you know, right. What do we think about the cookout? That's right. So all the people of color get together and they say, hey, you know, we got to stick together. Not all the people of color, but. Yeah. yeah. Xavier comes in at the very end and then they're all like, yeah, let's do this. Cookout, baby. And uh, so they get their team set up, you know, and then you see you have that alliance and you got some other crazy alliances that start happening, right? But before. I don't think Keelan's a part of this, is he? Is he a part of that? Yeah, I think, I think Kylan is. Yeah, Kylan's part of the cookout, I think. Oh, I keep yeah. saying Keelan. It's Kylan. Yeah, it's Kylan. It's <laughs> Kylan. He's part of the cookout. But uh, well, but before all that happens, and we get to all the different alliances, we get a, uh, you know, it's it's time for them to pick a players for the veto competition. Right, player for the veto competition, exactly. Which okay, so this part is funny. So you you've got the diary room of Frenchie saying, "All right, well, actually, before we even get to that, we have to talk about why Frenchie wants the veto used because Christian and Alyssa go to him and they say." What, why? What's going on? And he's like, I told you I don't like showmances. And they're like, we're not a showmance. He's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's change <laughs> yeah. that then. My, like, my yeah. bad. <laughs> he's like, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. I didn't know. I mean, yeah. not to say that we've actually seen the development of a showmance, although I do see like the potential of that, at least as of that moment. But he literally didn't say, ah, oh, you know, come on, you guys are getting close. He didn't, fight. he's just yeah. like, oh my God, you're right. You're not in a showman's. Like, yeah, yeah. I've got to change my whole strategy well, now. Christian made like an, a weird comment with that. He's like, is it because we look good? Because we yeah, look good yeah. together, and, yeah. yeah. And then Alyssa looked like yeah. irritated with that comment. Right, exactly. He's like, I'm trying to convince this dude. Yeah. And he, I mean, I think that was Christian's way of saying, well, I mean, I'd be open to it. Yeah. Right, yeah, that's, exactly, that's exactly what it was, right? <laughs> but yeah, so, uh. the, so then now... Frenchie's like, okay, well, I don't want to get rid of Alyssa because she's not in this showmance. And, and like, he just believes that right away. So now he's going to change his strategy. So he's like, okay, well, now I want to go after Travis. So I need this veto you. So he then has this strategy. Well, no, 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 no. He ain't going after Travis. Remember, he's going to go after, he's going to go after Derek Xavier or Derek, or Derek X. That's right. Yeah, he, he, yeah, that's yeah. right. he switches from yeah. Travis to, to Derek, the Asian guy, essentially. Yeah. 
Yeah, because well, well, so yeah, well, 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 what happens to... is Frenchie's walking around trying to hear who's talking bad about him, right? And then, and then, he, and then he and then yeah. he eavesdrops and hears Derek X and Travis talking bad about him. So he's like, oh, okay, these two clowns. Yeah, I'm gonna get one of these guys. But she didn't want to go after Travis because he had promised him. Because he promised him he wouldn't exactly. Yeah. So Derek was his. Idiot. He's very clumsy about. He thinks he's so brilliant about his interrogation, he's but he's oh, very yeah. clumsy about. Oh yeah, yeah. Frenchy. I heard. Yeah. People talking about me, I know it, and people right, are like, right. "What are you talking about, right. man?" Yeah. So the whole house is just kind of buzzing about how Frenchie's kind of. Oh like yeah, Fr- Frenchie's screwing himself. Co- non covert oh, operations, <laughs> trying to like spy on people. Yeah, exactly. So uh, you know, you see him in the diary room. He's like, "All right, the two players I do not want to get picked for this veto competition is Derek and, uh, and Travis. Travis, because yeah. you know those are kind of my backup plans there. And of course, and what happens? You know, well, the way the veto competition works, right? So Frenchie has to draw a name. The two people on the chopping block draw a name, and then a rando that gets picked up, you know, ends up having to draw a name, right? So, no, no, it's it's yeah. the head of household and the two nominees draw draw a name, the, but um, what's his name? Kylan got to pick house guest choice instead yeah. of picking so, a okay. name, okay. so he chose Travis. Yeah, and and you can see Frenchie's face, like, oh, no, 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 no. There were four people that played. It no, was there were six that played the veto game. No, there were four. No, it's six. It's it's six. <laughs> six Alyssa people? played. Alyssa. Alyssa played. Derek X played. Uh-huh. Kylan played. Uh-huh. And Frenchie. No, Frenchie didn't play the video game. Frenchie's not allowed to play video games. Yes, he is. The, no, I'm, I'm talking about the actual veto game itself. Four people played in the veto game. No, Frenchie played. How many people played? Frenchie What's played. The number? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that? Frenchie did play. That's right. Okay. <laughs> it's six. I've watched. I'm a super fan, remember? <laughs> so it's had, the three players, the, the head of household who makes the, the nomination. The three right. people who pull things and, and the three people who... They picked, all right, all right, all right, so I'm, there wrong. Are six I'm wrong, all right. people all right. who played. All right, I, I'm, I'm man enough to admit I'm wrong, Frenchie. <laughs> Anywho, so, yeah, Travis was Him playing. and Brent are, like, yeah. discussing things, trying to figure out what to do. Yeah. He's, he's starting to form that, that tight bond with Brent. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed well, they, in Brent and how much he's playing the sidekick to to um to Frenchie to Frenchie instead well, of well, like trying well, to play smart, his own. Yeah, he, he's he smart. avoided Derek from going home, who, who's on his team. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, he that's really true. like he did yeah. play that pretty low and yeah. influenced him, yeah. which was smart. And I'm okay with letting Frenchie think that, but I think he really is doing Frenchie's bidding, which. I mean, yeah, let Frenchie think that, but in the diary well, someone's room, everything home he's at talking. the end of the day, yeah. first week. So. I, just, I don't right. know. I think he's playing Frenchie's game and not his own game. I don't think so. I think he's pretty I, smart. I, he's, exactly he's, he's, I totally he's, disagree. He's playing his own game. Yeah. Okay. While playing Frenchie's game mm-hmm. to help himself out. Okay. Exactly. And he, even, he even says that in one of the, I think in one of the first or second episode, room. he said that. Yeah. He, but he, that's he, not he how he's before. coming across to so. me. If I was another house guest, the way he's talking about it, it's not how he's coming across. As another house guest, I'm like, okay. You're, you're blind, fine. actually. You're well, blind. <laughs> but the thing, well, but now in his defense, really, all we're, we're not seeing much of Brent on the show except when he's conversing with Frenchie, right? We're That's not seeing true. everything else going on. That's true. But like, you don't see much of him except when he's with Frenchie. So he could be talking with his team and scheming behind. Right. The exactly. Scenes and all right. So uh, all right. So anyway, so so we're at the veto, right? So all right. So we just said who all gets. So who gets picked? You got. So obviously you got Frenchie in the two hundred chopping block. You got Derek. You got Alyssa. And who was the six that played? Who Derek choose? Oh, Tiffany, Travis. Tiffany. Well, Tiffany played, didn't she? Yeah, Travis, Travis played because he Travis was played, yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah, Travis played. So, yeah, because he was, like, horrible. Travis <laughs> right. was horrible. So, like, the two people that Frenchie did not want getting picked for this veto, both of them got into the veto game. And Derek had an interesting strategy where he was starting from the back yeah, half like and that. then was going to look uh-huh. at whoever figured out the first half and just copy that, which yeah. was kind of smart. Well, people were mentioning that, too. Like, oh, look, Derek's being smart. He's, or, uh, you know, he's going from the bottom yeah, the first. were watching, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and the fact that... Everybody else was so into their own game, they never noticed he was doing that. Right, exactly. They were basically giving him the answer. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, that, 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 was, that was really smart. Him, he, yeah. he was struggling a little bit in that beginning part. Mm-hmm. Probably yeah. should have copied Alyssa, actually. But Well, the tra- and then Travis was doing horrible, right? I mean, he, he just couldn't get his stuff together, and even, even Whitney made the comment. Like, <laughs> or was it Whitney that made that comment about him, how like horrible he was doing or something? Or was it I Tiffany? So. Or maybe it was Tiffany. One, one of them made a comment about him. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, you could tell was he was Claire. lost. Claire was like, what is this guy doing? Yeah. Oh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, Travis was lost in the sauce. He had no idea what he was doing. <laughs> he just he couldn't get his stuff together for that, for that game. So, yeah, so Derek wins the uh, And, and the veto Kylan game. was really happy to pick him. He's like, oh, this guy's going to be strong in this competition. Yeah. Yep. And it turned out he wasn't, but uh-huh. it worked out in the end anyway. 
Well, because they didn't know what kind of competition it was going to be, right? So they're, right. you know. I mean, Sometimes they're given a heads up on the type of competition and they get to practice it. I don't uh, know if this, um, I haven't been watching the live feed. I don't um, think so on this one. Yeah, I don't yeah, think so on this one either. Probably not, so. But uh, yeah, so again, so Derek wins, right? He gets a veto power. And then now it's, all right, a whole, you know, everybody's got to start talking with Derek, to try to sway his vote, or if he's, or is he not going to vote? And of course, you know, Frenchie gets his little alone time with him after gathering with his folks. And uh, he's like, all right, Derek, you know. Well, we got to talk about the slaughterhouse. Yeah, slaughterhouse. Well, the slaughterhouse got together. Yeah, that's true. So Frenchie forms the slaughterhouse. He brings yeah. in half the house and was like, he brings in "This is seven hundred people. We're all going to the final. All yeah, 20 all of us, baby. All like, slaughter, slaughter, slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing little hand chops and everything. Yeah. So yeah. So who was it? It was uh. So yeah, Frenchie brings in this group of uh. I think there was two. Who were the two females? It was uh. He brings in Alyssa, Alyssa and Whitney Brent, and Alyssa, Alyssa and Whitney. Uh, Whitney. Yeah. And it was, yeah, so it was Alyssa and Whitney were two females. You had, you had Frenchie, you had Brent, you had uh, Big D. Kylan. Kylan, uh, Xavier, and then uh, one more. Who's the eighth person? Yeah, I didn't Christian? Matter. Christian. Oh, yeah, Christian. Yeah, it was yeah, Christian. It was yeah, Christian. Yeah, 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 Christian. Yeah, Christian was the eighth. So he brings in all these people, right? After he's already wheeling and dealing with everybody to begin with, and he's like, all right, we're doing this, you know? You know, and then... On top of that, then he goes and does a deal with the women, right? He gets a women group yep. together. He, goes to the French the, he essentially yeah. goes to the people that are not a part of this group. group yeah. All the, all the, yeah, all the women. And he says, all right, girls, I want to start an all-girls group with me in it. And all the girls are like, <laughs> they're all like giving him what he wants to hear and be like, right. oh, yeah, yeah, it sounds like fun. Let's call, it, let's call it French's Angels and all this other stuff. But then in the diary room, they're like, shouldn't a girl start the all-girls alliance? Right. Like, like, why is there a dude in the all-girls So group, they're right? kind of playing along with him and telling him yeah, what he wants to hear, but they good. have no no right. uh, loyalty to him at all. Right. Well, Tiffany's the one who came up with the French kisses uh, yeah. idea, I believe, right? So that was... Yeah. It's so, funny because they so, all seem enthusiastic about it, but like yeah. in a diary room, like, like no. Nah, well, well, <laughs> and then the, fun, the funniest part about that was like right before it ended, that conversation, Frenchie kicks back and he's got his yeah. ring. He's like, oh, yeah, as long as we all vote for me, I'm free. I, I'm I good next week. I'm said, good next week. I was week. like, are you an idiot? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that was hilarious. Just, Here, here's yeah. the thing with Frenchie. Everybody, everybody is clueless. Yeah. Frenchie believes he's in an alliance with everybody. And yep. unfortunately, I believe Frenchie is an alliance with nobody. And, and oh, yeah. he doesn't think <laughs> yeah, that so nobody anyone trusts Frenchie. from either one of these groups would talk. He's crazy. Right, exactly. Especially when they have a, this team dynamic also happening this uh-huh. season. Yeah. Like, if like, you're gonna, Frenchie has totally yeah. freaking screwed himself, man. I mean, he's just done horrible. I do not like his game. He seems like an idiot as far as how he's handled oh, yeah. all this. And he thinks he's being brilliant. And I would be no. very surprised if he doesn't see the block this week, whether or not he's the target to go home. I just, he's an easy person to put up in, oh, yeah. in your speech. Well, I'll tell you what normally happens, up. though, is everyone's like, yeah, yeah, we got to get rid of Frenchie. And people are like, well, everyone hates Frenchie. So why would I get rid of Frenchie if right. everyone hates, hates him? Because I get rid of him early. At any point. That's true. Yeah, that's yeah. What, so that, that might that's work for him that way. That's what sometimes. Yeah, no, you're right. So, well, yeah. and. And one of the funny thing is, I looked up Frenchie's backstory. So you know, we we're always we we're talking about how no, he never mentions what service he was in. So he was in the Air Force, right? Frenchie's an Air Force vet. But what was interesting, you know, makes you feel bad bad for him is, uh, you know, evidently him and his wife lost one of their kids. They lost her son. He passed away. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they run this farm, but evidently it's pretty uh, it's a pretty good farm because I guess he's got this show bull that's won uh, two Grand Championship competitions. So uh, and evidently he won the NFL punt pass kick competition when he was thirteen mm-hmm. years old. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's pretty interesting, you yeah. know. You becoming a Frenchie super fan, huh? Yeah, man. Well, doing a little deep dive. Well, doing well, a little research well when we were all you talking about, I just your wagon to the wrong guy. I wanted to look up what service he was in. We kept talking about that. We're like, yeah, what service he in? But then when, as I looked it up, the article had all that stuff in it too. I so. would not have thought Air Force with him. No, I wouldn't be. <laughs> supposed to be the smart branch people what is he doing yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> strategy man where's the strategy yeah. he has all the strategy like every strategy he's ever aggr- possible he's very aggressive which i like oh he's totally aggressive ugh. well and, and people even mention that right when they're talking in the room they're like yeah you know french has got this deep voice he's just very you know dominant and so people want to listen to him you know so i mean even the person that gets kicked off mentions that stuff right at the end he's like hey man you know he and i became good friends and he's just this dominant dude and you know everybody just wants to listen to him so yeah it's funny because Derek even is like throwing him a bone he's like hey i won the veto what's the plan we can yeah i want to mend this relationship and then he starts again like oh now i can like boss him around right exactly 
Well, and, and I was surprised that Derek like gave him what he wanted. Well, that's well, but that's because other people told Derek, "Hey, you know, Frenchie's got his eye on you, man." Because X, Y, and Z, and even Frenchie talked to Derek and told him that. So that's why Derek came. He's like, "All right, man, I got to get and go with Frenchie here to fix this because he already thinks I'm behind his back. So let me fix this and do whatever Frenchie wants," which is exactly what happened. Yeah, and then he uses that as an opportunity to try and manipulate Derek. He's like, "I'm telling you, you're you're next if you don't do this." Yeah, kind yeah, of exactly. Stuff. So yeah, he told which him. I, like, hook me whole... up because I can protect you for weeks. And I'm mm-hmm. like, "How the heck can you protect That's people for weeks?" For weeks? And this Show. That whole statement to me made zero sense. Oh, yeah, the, Frenchy, the, Frenchy house told, the house told me that this is what he tells him. He yeah. says the house told me that if Travis doesn't Travis doesn't go this week, then it's you next week. If Travis doesn't go this week, then it's him next, next week. Yeah, that doesn't no make no. any sense. Like why wouldn't it be Travis next week? Right. And exactly. why is it on him that Travis it didn't to go, go this week? Like, exactly. I mean that statement made. No, and then Derek's like, oh. Right. But, <laughs> but, like, but, but, but but then again, we don't you I, know. I hope, I hope he was just playing into that. I right. don't know. Like, it's well, a darker well, me didn't seem to like And then again, we, we don't know what else goes on behind the scenes, what, what's been said, you know, yeah. everything else. So, but yeah. That, that, I hope he's smarter than that, though. Oh, uh, you would hope so. But this time around, he flat out said, okay, sure. All right, Prince, no problem. <laughs> Travis is on the block. Yeah, yeah and Travis Which tried was his, to, like, best bud in the house. And right. I'm like... Uh, Travis talks to his team and he tries to present something to Frenchie why he should not go home this week. And it's kind of funny because it's like he took notes from that group and then said exactly the same thing when he's in there. He's like, okay, well, they told me to say this. They told me to say this. He did, like, yeah. <laughs> he didn't like ad lib or, did, or anything. Did, so yeah. I guess it was Tiffany that was kind of talking to, to Travis about that. It was Tiffany, Travis. And, and she was smart about it, too. She was oh, yeah. very oh, smart. Yeah. I, I'm I'm starting to be a little impressed with Tiffany. Yeah, I do like, like Tiffany. She's, she's making these... She's like, look, you've got to present the case. You got to give him what he wants, but you know, yeah. make him hear exactly. what he wants to hear. I'm, I'm right. she, I love the little French kiss thing. She's like, wow, right, 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 right. like, yeah. screw that guy. <laughs> like behind the yeah, scenes. no, I, I'm starting to really like <laughs> Tiffany. So yeah, no, Tiffany's good for sure, and she, and you can tell she definitely has a good plan going for herself. Just kind of stay under the radar a little bit and make friends, but at the same time, you know, at the end of the day, she's like, yeah, they, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm here to win. I'm here to win. She oh, yeah. she's she's also, she she's totally going to be cutthroat. To me, she's yeah. also showing loyalty, which sometimes loyalty in the show can be your saving grace, but it can also be a curse. But, right. you know, they've put been forced to be in these teams, which nobody expected to be in when they went in the house. And she's actually staying loyal to, to it. Her team, because yeah. when it comes down to the vote, she's the only one on the team that voted to keep her teammate. Yeah. And it blows my mind that these other two didn't do that. And I, and I know in the past, especially in that first or second, first two or three evictions, you kind of go with the house and what the house wants. Mm-hmm. But this house was kind of flip-flopping a little bit there on who they wanted to do and how there was yeah. like, oh, maybe we could possibly get this. And if there's any chance that you can save your teammate, why wouldn't you? And, and I think especially in week one, being forced into the teams, even if you did vote against the house, they'd all understand why you did it. It's mm-hmm. my teammate. I have to do it. But the other two are like, no, they yeah, whatever. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so I'm like, so we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. So he, so <laughs> yep. So Travis gets thrown on the chopping block, right? Derek gets up there in the little ceremony. All right, Kylan, you're free. He frees Kylan, right? Not Alyssa, even right. though Alyssa was like, had her little, you know, heartfelt spiel to him. Oh, it's my birthday this weekend. And if you save well, it, me, it you know. was Kylan's birthday yeah. too. Yeah. But Kylan had just, <laughs> Kylan had just had his Kylan birthday, got right? That, that lap dance. They got the lap dance yeah. from, yeah, from Travis, right? So they were trying to, like, Whitney was trying to help Travis out here. Let me dress you up all pretty like a girl. You can give Kylan his birthday lap dance, and uh, maybe that'll make people. I guess you know, Travis be was more hoping he'd, he'd win some points by doing that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, he definitely was hoping he would, but. He probably should have. Yeah, he should have, but it didn't work out for him, right? So the little ceremony happens. Travis gets put on the chopping block kylan gets freed and everybody just craps on travis i mean i guess poor guy gets you know voted 11 to 2 against them you know and, and, it, and he knew it was coming you know what i mean and it was unfortunate because I, I did like i mean travis was just a, at first he was just a quiet guy seemed like a pretty nice dude so i felt bad for this guy getting booted you know right off the bat so that was that he was, might you know. be the biggest meathead on there yeah so maybe uh so frenchie's plan worked out well he got rid of a meathead and then he said that was his plan all along for week one so that, it did work out for him in that but i, I think travis probably could have been a, a good uh you know a good loyal friend to frenchie had he tried to work that angle because travis did seem like a very good dude and if you, you know, he seemed like a guy who was you know loyal to his friends and, and he didn't seem like he had any kind of he, he didn't align with anyone so he wasn't really <laughs> trying to strategize and yeah, game like, the game. So, like, he would have been one that you could probably manipulate. Yeah, and he was, yeah, he like, was not the person no. to go. Yeah, like, yeah, like I, I would have totally, I would have totally trusted Travis more than Alyssa if I was Frenchie. You know, he, he totally, I mean, he made the wrong decision there. 
Well, as far as like, I think they're all overlooking this team aspect at this point. Oh, which, they are. No again, doubt about it. that's not what they wanted to go into the house and do, but that's the cards they've been dealt, and they right. need it's to handle that. Break break down, it too, will, but even, not uh, had Travis's a, teammates. The cards they've been dealt. Them. That's good. Well, and that's the thing. Against. There's only two two teams I've seen even remotely work together. Like Frenchie doesn't communicate with half the people or with his team at all. Like, um, oh, Aza big, big, or, yeah, she Aza, has no yeah. idea what's going on. Big yeah, D has true. no big idea D. what's going on, well, even though he's because, part of this other slaughterhouse alliance. Well, and the funny thing is in the first episode, you know, Big D's like, all right, Frenchie, you and me, final two. And he's like, yeah, brother, we got it. You and me, you know, and then now it didn't talk to him. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, Christian's team, they really do work together. You know, he strategized, like, the girls came to him and said, Frenchie said, we're safe, so you need to play in this, like, immunity game. And then when yep. he was able to save another person, he saved um, Xavier because that's, mm-hmm. like, and he's like, well, now my team is safe. Little did he know that Frenchie was going to go back on his word. But, right, exactly. you know, he was working to save his team. And then you have Tiffany with the Queens. Like, she's not even the lead of that team, which, I mean, I don't know if the leads really mean anything other than who they picked. Right. But... She's kind of leading that team. She's like, all right, this is what we need to do to try to save a member of our team. And mm-hmm. she's like, and they're working together as yeah, a team. Nobody, you don't see those other teams no. working together at all in any kind yeah, of way. Yeah, and I will say, like Big D and Frenchie teaming together, they they did that very early on before they even really knew each other. So yeah. you'll see some people do that, and they're like, well, we're, we're not really clicking like we thought we would. Well, but like the, him and uh, Brent are kind of clicking a little more, at yeah. least for now. When you heard why nice. Frenchie picked Big D to begin with on a team, he's like, Big D, you look like my best friend, man. Come on, you're on my team. So you know, he made it sound like right off the bat they're going to be boys, and you know, and then now it's kind of not working out that way. But but uh, all right, so. Yeah, so we see that Travis gets booted off, right? But one thing that kind of irritated me was uh, Travis flat out said, you know, when he was in the little room, like, hey, you know, when he's talking to the camera, hey, Frenchie, if I go down, you're going down with me, right? And then come to yeah. find out, when, when he's talking to Julie, evidently he said something to the group about right, Frenchie. Which we'll see on the next episode. They'll, they'll air sure whatever. Will? Yeah. They oh, okay. usually, like, right. if there's something that goes down right before mm-hmm. the vote, before the live show, they'll show that. It's on live, the so episode. they have a hard time like putting things yeah. together. Yeah, so well, but we'll get to see that. But the thing is, there was still more episode, episode, right? Because you, there was still more episode after this, and they had to pick the next head of household and all that. So, mm-hmm. and they didn't show us that, right? So, are they still gonna? I don't, I don't know. If they're gonna show us to us or not? What do you mean they didn't show us? They didn't yeah, well, show they us. They have a hard time like chopping that together for a live show, right? Because yeah. it's live. It's what's going on on the show is going on. In I guess. Like okay, all okay, that okay. has actually. They'll normally like do like a recap of that like right. next week, kind of like this is what happened behind the scenes. Right. That they just right. couldn't put piece gotcha. together for the show. That for makes some sense. Reason. Um, well, hopefully they do because I want to see that. I want to see what it was he said to the rest of the group. Sometimes to, before to they leave, they say stuff as they're walking out the door, and they'll be like. Screw you. Don't trust this guy. Right. And yeah. then Julie's like, you got to leave either the house. They'll say it in their speech or they'll say yeah. it as they're walking out right. and there's no Right. Well, no and, 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 well, and that's, that's funny, too, because she was like, you know, hey, who did you great, make great friendships with? And he flat out said, you know, as much as this guy is a liar and everything, right? The guy's a liar, you know, but he's playing a game. But he and I were close. You know, I, I felt that we became really close friends, you know, and I had to get a good relationship with him. He's a likable guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Travis I mean, went nobody, out with some class, too. He's yeah. like, hey, oh, yeah. he's a military guy. Yeah. He's got a family, family and yeah. stuff like that. So Yeah. Yeah, you know, Travis is a good dude all around, man. And, and uh, I think Frenchie screwed up by putting him on a chopping block because he totally could have been a good ally for Frenchie. Well, it's it's kind of tough time. for Frenchie because, like, you don't really probably hate anyone at this point. So yeah, it's like, who do I put up there? Yeah. I got to, like, uh, find some kind of small reason why I got to put someone up. Well, and that's why we ones on the, he, he said it in a couple of his diary rooms he's like you know i'm going for i'm going for a big target week one mm-hmm. whereas a lot of the times week one it, whoever's hoh goes for the easiest person to evict yeah. without pissing off what the rest i would of normally the say right. is like i just didn't get to know you it's nothing right. personal you didn't come right. talk to me so yeah. Yeah. it is what it is right well now. and, and, and yeah. he kind of he kind of admit and julie kind of mentions that to him right she's like hey man you really didn't try to make any alliances or anything you know do you think that hurt you and he's like yeah you know i i thought i was trying to make alliances but I, you know, I wasn't forceful enough, I guess, like a lot of people were. And yeah, he's like, I guess that did kind of bite me in the butt, right? So, yeah. yeah. But uh, all right, so where do you think it's going from here? Well, let's get well, into we get, we well, get we're into into the head of household head now. Household. Yeah. All right, so all right. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yep. that's where it's going from here. <laughs> all right, so Travis is out. So up next is the head of household game, right? Which so they, Frenchie uh, can't play in. Frenchie can't play in because he's former head of household. So this game is a uh, pull shark game, right? So on this, they walk out to the backyard and they've got this ginormous pool table set up with a shark with his mouth open, and then they've got all the balls lined up in a like a quarter circle on the outskirts of it, aimed at the shark's mouth, right? So it's numbered one through thirty, and one being the easiest shot because that's directly in front of the shark's mouth, thirty being the hardest. 
And now all these people have to pick a number, right? And you can't have the same number. So if somebody chooses one number, then somebody else can't choose that number. They got to choose a different one. You know, and whoever makes the hardest shot wins at a household. Yeah, I wish they showed the strategy and people choosing their number. Well, and I well, wonder if they'll show that next because I did wonder. The technical difficulty, I think, screwed Well, there were technical up. difficulties, Maybe. but then because at first they were supposed to pick without, like, communicating with anybody. Mm-hmm. Remember, they were supposed to type it that into, like, cool. a, yeah. yeah. That's what they're supposed so to So I don't know how they actually ended up doing it, but one would think and hope that, I mean, I guess they didn't have time to strategize beforehand, but if you've got a team, you want someone on your team doing the, the you know, kind of spreading them out on that line mm-hmm. so that you have a better chance of versus all three of you being at the easy spot or all three of you being at the hard spot. Right. That so, was the other weird thing is this wasn't a team four, competition. Four no, man. It's, well, would, I mean, you would expect it to be kind of like the first one was a team competition and they kind of abandoned that already, which was a little yeah. weird, I thought. Yeah. Well, because now they're showing that, hey, even though this is a team game, this is still an individual game and you still want to work your individual yeah, and people magic, know it's right? eventually so, going to get down to that. So right. I don't know yeah. if they're even respecting the team too but much. They're not. They're, yeah, they're not. No, <laughs> they're, they're not. Yeah, they're not but, at all. But, I mean, it, it sucks. You're thrown into, so. pe- you know, you're in a team, you you ideally have to work with these three people and they may not be the three people you would have I'm chosen to work with. I'm just kind of surprised the show did not support a team challenge to try and right. push them into, into the, the team work, environment. The teamwork, you know? right. So now and, it's like, and well, what's the you point of the team wanna, that we're playing as individuals? You may not want to yeah. work with these three people because those aren't the three people you may have chosen. Those are three people t- that technically should have your back. The, oh, that yeah. should be a guarantee. It's I realize in, they're it's not it's playing it's that way. Because if any, because if any of them wins, you're all safe. Exactly. So it's like... Even though you don't want to, for the time being, you should. Yeah, exactly. Well, see, that's the other problem, too, because not having a team game like this, is it's like... You well, can't strategize well, as you, a team. Not only yeah. you can't strategize, but it doesn't <clears throat> even increase your odds too much, Like where it's like, right. okay, we're working as a team. And this is like, I have the same odds if we weren't teams of winning this or losing this. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, so... They all end up, you know, so camera pans out for commercial, comes back, and they're all lined up. So they're numbered from 15 to 29. Right, so you got Alyssa up first. Of course, she makes the easy shot. You know, uh, so she goes to the leaderboard. Then you got Brent Champagne that comes up at number sixteen. He makes his easy shot, so he p- takes Alyssa's spot. And then people start missing. You know, so you're th- for a while. It's like, man, is nobody else gonna is like number sixteen Brent's gonna win like, this? Yeah, as yeah, it gets harder, there. I'm yeah. uh, I'm sitting pretty. And then and then, <laughs> and, then, and, then and then you got uh, you know one of the dudes who was just on the chopping block, Kylan. Just sinks it, man. Just hits that thing. It slides right in, and there you go. He takes Brent's spot. And then, of course, after that, I mean, after 24, it's almost impossible to make that shot anyway, just from looking at it. And so nobody else does it. So we got Kylan as the new head of household. So, uh, you know, of course, Frenchie, Frenchie takes off the key, puts it on him, says, here you go. Congratulations, brother. And, uh, you know, and then they which all have is, their little. It, which is a saving grace for that team. Oh, it if is. if you just lost a, lost team, a team member, you're down three. Your, your team is an easy picking mm-hmm. target for every eviction after that. Yep. Uh, just to wipe that team out. But now they're immune this week. So, yeah. and this, so now so I'm, that you know, means another team is going so to lose another person. Kylan's going for probably Frenchie. Right? Yeah. I would think yeah. Frenchie, but he talks very highly of Frenchie in right. the diary room and to other people. I mean, it would be it, an easy nomination because he was put up and he could even have the same speech. You know, we have this connection, you know, yeah. you put me up cause you wanted me to like play for you, even though I wasn't your target. I'm doing the same thing. But I can tell you this. If Frenchie gets put on that chopping block and he doesn't win veto, he's going home. Because everybody's scared of that guy, right? Everybody's like, you know, we don't want to cross Frenchie right now. If he gets put on that chopping block and he doesn't win veto, he is going home just to get rid of the stress level in that house, I think. Because I think Frenchie stresses everybody out. Unless, like you said, they start to strategize and say, well, he's always a target. Let's keep the big target. Or someone could always do something more crazy. That's true. That's true. That's true. (laughs) That's true. And and people just realize what's in their best interest. For instance, like, Brent would be like, why would I want to get rid of... I don't even care for Frenchie, uh, whatever, but like, he's like, he thinks he's I'm really tight with yeah. him, right. so why would I screw that over? Yeah, but all the women are, are pruned to his or prone to his uh, shenanigans. Like, they all know, they were all talking about him, how they don't trust him at all. Yeah. You know, so I mean, right there, he's got, right now, he's got all the women in the house against him, right? I just can't believe he's he some said, guys oh, we got this group now, I'll be safe for next week. And he, oh, he, right. he, he, like, oh, yeah. he said that as yeah. soon yes. as that group formed, he's like... 
not yeah. good. Well, not only how, that, how does he even keep track? He's yeah. got Slaughterhouse, he's got the French Kisses, kisses yeah. and what? then he's got his team. And I was like, and does they, he remember he has his team? I don't even know. And then he's got his two bros. We're the last two, brother. We're the last yeah, two, brother. Yeah, he's got brother, right? with, with um, uh, Big yeah, and, and Cookout and, form, and but they didn't, you never saw them having like conversations. Well, that's no. smart. So right. That's smart. It, are they still a thing? And No, no. Well, they even said that. They said, hey, this is our last big gathering together. We need to disperse and not get caught up looking like this. Yeah, we should never be seen all hanging out together. Yeah, that was smart. But uh, yeah, man. So if they're gonna stick with, so you know there was, and I honestly, because not a super fan, can't remember the season, but it was like in the first five or six oh, you seasons. You just proclaimed you're a super fan earlier, though. Yeah, well, yeah. You're, you know, you're a super I was being sarcastic, <laughs> you're a super fan. but anyway, um, there was a couple. It was a, a young man and an older woman that you would just not have seen them working together whatsoever, mm-hmm. and they literally only had a conversation like once a week. And they went all the way to the end as, as like a duo because, and I think he ended up winning that one um, because, you know, it was an alliance that nobody saw right. and nobody expected. Well, that's the best way to do it, right? And so with the cookout, you know, if you don't see yeah. it is, it is. Because it's but, like, well, we only talked, are we still good? I don't know. Well, that's the whole thing. And you don't know It's all paranoia. You, you know, don't you're know in the who's diary influencing room. influencing that other person this entire yeah. time if you're yeah. not communicating consistently with them there's been very few people that are that are very blunt and honest with them like i'm not working with you i'm coming unless there's a big blowout argument it's always like hey like hey, let's work together oh, okay like, right. <laughs> and, and some people just form super true. close bonds or hanging out constantly that's my boy in the house mm-hmm. or girl or whatever and mm-hmm. it's like yeah i'm gonna well, well that's what's crazy too right them. so in in, in more they, they end up having that one like little sentimental moment where they're all like frenchies hanging out with you know that little little group in the room and you had Claire and Sarah Beth, who are both by, and he was so French. He's like, "Hey, I got a question. What is it? L B G T Q?" And they're like, well, "We just call it L G B T, you know, for short, whatever." Like, where you been, French? Yeah, yeah, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> he's been on a farm, man. He's, he's on the farm. He's, I don't have internet on the farm. Yeah, he's on the farm. farm, right? So, of course, you know, you know. So, uh, you know, Sarah Beth starts talking about her girlfriend, how much she loves her. She's crying a little bit, but she's like, "Look, I am bisexual, but yeah, I found this girl and I love her." So they all had this little heartfelt moment together. And of course, Claire's there and she's bisexual, so they're talking about it. It's so funny that, as she says that she starts getting and like this group starts swarming to her and right. like cuddling. Yeah. Frenchie's like, hmm, okay, what's going on here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sensitive to this topic. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> So it did show a little heartfelt moments like that here and there. They really didn't have too much to do with the, any of the games or, or anything going on, but just showed kind of the, you know, the, the humanness, I guess, of the characters, yeah. right? So, so that was cool. I threw that in there, but and we don't yet know. We're still in week one. Who is doing something within that house to make themselves of value? Usually, there's someone who always cooks. So they always right. say like, "Hey, I'm gonna cook and like I'm gonna bake cakes. I'm gonna do all this or cookies or just do something that like, well, if we lose this person, then we lose all that good cook, stuff. Right? Like someone cleans and like you they know, didn't show these much houses of the, get uh, disgusting. Slop so. Eating and stuff like that. Yeah. They haven't shown any of that. Yeah, yet. And they that's haven't true, shown yeah. people's reaction. Like, oh, I can't even handle this stuff. They they didn't really yeah. touch on. Yeah, anything that's true. Like no, that. you're right. They haven't done any of that. Wow, I, I didn't even think about that. But yeah, I want and I want to see that because I've never seen this show before. So I want to see what yeah. that slop Maybe looks like. You know, like they they touched on that too much in the past or something. I don't know. Yeah, like I don't know, but you would expect to see something like. Yeah. Where people are eating good food and people are like, oh man, I gotta eat the slop. This sucks. Right, right. So the question is based on that HOH competition, because it wasn't a team competition, mm-hmm. who are the have nots this week and how do they determine that? Oh, good question. They're, they're yeah. probably well, have to have another competition. Yeah, well, yeah they're absolutely gonna have yeah. to. So I'm sure on the next episode we'll find that out. Unless they but. decide just to take the bottom three, but I guess who do you determine who the bottom is? Like, I guess whoever went for the largest number and failed? I don't know. Yeah, I think I think they gotta have a competition. I'm, I'm sure we'll have a, see a competition here on the next yeah, episode. Yeah, have, have nots competition or something. Maybe it'll be yeah. half the people or something. Yeah, because that's when the have not starts to get really interesting. Is if you if you start to see a, a person or two be a have not for multiple weeks in a row, and it's like okay, right? I'm dying. Well, they're well, <laughs> they have some yeah, competitions right. that throw right. in some money opportunities and stuff they like do that they, well, they'll so. throw in yeah. the the um temptation of taking yeah, and that kind of draws versus... people out like he took the money screw that well, guy oh yeah. when julie said one of the one of the things in the next uh in the next episodes coming up is somebody's going to get to choose if they want to switch teams or not mm, so that's exactly. a new twist that yeah that's the switch that's the twist julie said's coming up that somebody's yeah. going to get to choose if they want to switch teams so i was like oh okay well yeah, let's see how that plays out interesting frenchie does right <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, it sounds like a Frenchy strategy because it's a new strategy. Right. So yeah, when he I always do. has new strategy. Yeah. When you don't know <laughs> how useful some people are, because there's some challenges that are athletic, and then there are some mm-hmm. that use yeah. your mind, and sometimes it's not the same. And people this is very where, often. like, I've, I, you know, as a non-super fan but loyal watcher, I have. You know, dreamt of being on the show. A time well, you or told two. us you were a super fan. That's why we invited you on. So, <laughs> <laughs> I have dreamt of being on the show a time or two. Um, but that's there's a couple of different things that I would fail at for sure. And one of the things is like, and you don't know that having just started watching the show, is later competitions like day 45, 50, 60 in the house, they say, okay, on what day did this competition ha- happen? Or did this happen oh, wow. before or after this person's a victim? Yeah, those are tough. Yeah, and those mental ones are like, okay, because you're keeping track of the days, what's happening on those days, who said what, where they said it, like right. what competition wow. was happening. And I'm, I have or, a hard time. Or just questions about the house and the color yeah. or something or yeah. whatever. Like, How many whatever's in this room or right? Yeah, wow. so P- okay. so you haven't seen that yet, but they'll you'll see like if you were to watch the live feeds, a lot of times they're just going around and inspecting the house and like okay, there are because it's like like seven fish on that wall like and they'll say in a competition how many fish are on this wall and how many are this color and it's like okay I would no, that's pretty suck cool at that <laughs> all right guys well let's wrap this up here all right Josh so. Who are you with this week, man? You still with Champagne? Is he still your boy? Or you're going to try I'm to pick somebody still else? Still with uh, Brent and Whitney. Okay, all right. Seriously, what name? Why? Because they're hot, man. I mean, that's why. <laughs> Jeez, come on. <laughs> all right. I had to choose someone because right. of something. All right, hey, man. But, what what yeah, did that work? Like, Sorry, yeah. I did right. not like Frenchy style. Right. No, you turn. I was never a big Frenchy fan. Right, I'm you're still with me go first? I'm making you go next. I'm yeah. going with Tiffany. Going with Tiffany. I like this chick. See, I like her strategy. I like how she lays low when she needs to lay low. She can talk and strategize with people. And she's working with the team aspect, which means she has some kind of loyalty. Um, and she's smart. So I like Tiffany. See, I, I gotta, I'm, I'm there too. I like Tiffany. I like what she brought this time, you know, this past couple episodes. And I was, uh, she impressed me big time. So I'm, I mean, you know what I'm saying? She's a single mom, you know, and she's the oldest person on the show. And I'm like, you know what? I kind of, you know, maybe I'd like to see Tiffany win. So I'm definitely, definitely getting uh, more confident with Tiffany and more like, okay, I'm definitely more starting to lean towards her. But I'm kind of with Josh here now too. Brent, man, Brent's just a genuine dude, man. Like every time you see this guy now, I'm like, man, and and, and he's he's one of... And and he seemed just kind of like a meathead just... Judging by his looks, but he he's got some intelligence. Yeah, he's a, he's a genuine dude, and he's one of the ones that hasn't lied about his occupation. I mean, he's you know he's a uh, he's flight attendant. For his teammates. He's a flight attendant. He hadn't lied about it. He's like, look, I'm a flight attendant, but I enjoy what I do. You know, so I, he didn't I make a lot of money. I mind him being on my flight. And we didn't see a lot of stuff from characters. We didn't see much from Claire, Sarah, yeah. and others. Well, and even Whitney, you haven't seen much from her. So yeah, there's, yeah. there's, yeah, there's Claire, a lot of characters Claire still seen a lot from. Falling flat for me. Like I'm, I'm not. I'm okay with her. I don't know. She's I mean, I'm, I'm cool with Claire, me. but they haven't shown much yeah. of her, right? So yeah. from what we've seen so far, definitely, uh, I, I think I'm pushing more towards Brent now. Frenchie, you just you screwed yourself, bud. I mean, <laughs> at some point you're going down. There's no way Frenchie's going to win this competition now. Just not going to happen. You know, I mean, he he just really screwed himself really bad this first week. Uh, but yeah, but I'm liking Brent now. But I'm also liking Tiffany. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. All right, guys, that wraps up our discussion of Big Brother 23 Week 1. We hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know what you think. Let us know who your favorite characters are in this, who you want to win, who you want to get booted off. We'd love to hear it, and we'll definitely get back to you if you post any comments. Uh, Ashley, thank you for joining us again this week. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Um, Hopefully I don't get nominated for eviction next week, and I'll see you guys next week. Well, time will tell on that one. So, (laughs) Go Frenchie yourself. All right, guys. Until next week, we'll check you later. Find out. Yeah. We're about to oh, find crap. out something. Oh, oh crap, I forgot. Yeah, are yeah. we? Are oh, yeah. we gonna find <laughs> out? I forgot. All right, let's do it to yourself. Like this French and show, man. That's right. <laughs> I think we should stop. The uh. Oh, well, all right. uh the, that dog is barking though. Yeah, the dog is barking. The, uh, the dog barking. Right. Is he on the Queens? He's part of the Queens. Ooh. No. No, he's not. Brent? Never mind. I've taken it back. Shh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> and until next time, we'll check you. <laughs> <laughs> check you. We'll check. We're gonna you. check you. <laughs> we'll check You're you. gonna check them. Yeah, gonna check <laughs> You're you. gonna check them. We'll check you. <laughs> All right. Dang it. Direction for cut oh, purposes no. for the editor, Ashley. Right. I'm the editor. You, you, gotta, you gotta think about the editor. <laughs> this guy's been trying to you know, like tell me what to do. Billy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need for you the to, editor. Billy, I'm gonna need you to pretend you're on the block and like you, to beg That's for right, some begging, subscribers. Begging, like, begging, you're begging. begging, like, begging, begging you need See you guys. See you guys. Oh, I don't know if I wanted to say see you guys.